Yo, what's up, guys? I'm doing a part two slash follow up on the how to use your FPS strike pack on your PC. So here's a couple of the questions and a brief description of how to fix them. If you want to, you can pause the video right here and uh, try and figure it out yourself. But I'm going to walk you guys through it. Uh, if this does like, if this does work, make sure you like the video. And the first one we're going to be doing is get the touchpad working. So what you want to do is go to the Collective Minds website, link down below, download the strike pack software and remap your share button to your touchpad so once you're on the website you only want to go to support click downloads and go to mod central I already have this and you're also going to want to unplug the strike pack from your controller and I already downloaded so I'm not going to click it but once it pops up you might have to click update and if you do this is the new uh, you'll be able to see this type screen the logos change and you're going to want to go ahead and click configure remapping settings and or slash paddles aka the controller so I've already done this but this is going to be set to touch and this is going to be set to share so all this this is so simple all you're going to want to do click the touchpad one change it to share and it auto switches and it's that easy click save settings to strike back successfully saved your remapper go ahead and plug the strike pack back into the controller and we're done with that so next method is going to be how to fix the input delay my brief statement go into your task manager and prioritize SCP services so go ahead and right click down here task manager you're not going to go to services you want to go to details and that's where it's going to be at and you're going to scroll down see almost like a steam with a c a blue c you're going to go ahead and right click on it go to set priority and you want to put that on high and change your priority just make sure that happened yep and you're going to go ahead and x out of here and that's how you fix the input delay now some people's controllers were not staying connected after turning off the PC and this happens for me this is why I recommend it my brief statement is to unplug the controller before powering off the PC then plug it back in plug it back in the controller before turning on the PC honestly that's pretty much the gist of it just unplug it then power your PC off and then plug it back in then power the PC on and it should connect perfectly fine you can load up Fortnite and get right into it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was that simple. All those problems solved in one quick, simple video. So uh, if this guys, if this worked, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and like button and comment down any questions you guys have. And yeah, peace out, boys.